Hey toy fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing, and it's another, uh, we're, we're basically uh, not snowed in, but it's too cold to go outside here in Illinois, so uh, another, I'm about five days in, I'm a shut-in, so I guess I will be opening a new toy, um, <laughs> something to keep me and my daughter entertained. This was Mesco's Tower of Fear, and with the Mesco Monsters, so, um, the the cover of this box the box is huge but the cover is amazing it has um all your classic universal monsters on there well maybe a non copyright and <laughs> ip infringement versions of them you got frankenstein the mummy dracula the wolfman and it looks like um uh, man amphibian but uh what do you call it the creature from the black lagoon what do they call him here they call him see just sea creature so, cover, this box is awesome. Like, this is one of those things that I'm not getting rid of this. Like, it's just too cool. There'll be no use for the box afterwards, but it's just so awesome to look at. I will find a room, in my man, a place in my man cave to put it. On the side, we got the Tower of Fear. I love that. I love the way it just looks like old uh, horror comic art. On the side there, we got a top part even. So some different pieces of art from the uh the monsters looks like it's going on both sides and then the inside we have the uh, the set of monsters and then a big diorama piece i believe it's just cardboard um so not gonna get too excited just yet but we'll see we'll see it looks pretty cool um so standing at a monstrous 18 inches, once assembled, the retro playset diorama creates a deca decaying Carpathian castle with three floors, a dungeon, a main hall, Frankenstein's lab. Each floor has interactive components for each monster, including a coffin that Dracula can fit inside, a sarcophagus that the mummy can fit inside, lab equipment, multiple landings for each figure to stand on, and much more. So, let's get at it. Um, alright, so, I believe... Or anything ah there's one piece of tape there's not two pieces of tape holding holding me out keeping me out of this thing so let's go ahead and take a look at the carpathian castle the tower of fear so i ordered this a long time ago um i don't think it might have been two years but all right now that makes a it brings a tear to uh, an old nerd's uh, eye so i don't want anything to fall out but looks like a lot of stuff um so i'm gonna grab at one of these pieces of cardboard uh they're actually um it's it's cardboard but it's actually kind of sturdy so i'm not too mad at it it could be better if it's uh if it was plastic but what are you gonna do now, oh, it looks like I have to take uh, these out before I can actually get at the figures. Otherwise, everything would just spill out. Maybe. Or no. Uh, whatever. I'll do that anyway. Looks like we got some pieces. Oh, that, that's cool. Um, to bring, bring Frank to life. What else do we got? some stairs with a monster in them that's pretty cool always always like when there's something hidden in the sewers that you can't get at and some more some more electronic bits got some your tesla cables you just we've got some mad science going on here just just pieces of cardboard they're they're pretty thick like if this was a board game i wouldn't be mad um the sarcophagus that they were talking about here uh just just a pla just a, a shoebox. Then let's see if I can get things out now. A piece of tape holding me in play. Betty, there it is. No, nope, no tape. Just, just strong. Just some strong plastic. And, wow, paint job on the sea monster is great. So, 
what do we got here? Some five points for articulation, so just probably, I don't even know if he's, oh yeah, he does. So the head, the legs, and the arms can move. We got Frankenstein. I believe I have this Frankenstein in like a clear, um, the, the sculpts and the, uh, the sculpts and the paint jobs on this are great. These, um, I don't really collect the five point scales like the, um, the super seven ones, but, but if they look like this, I might, you know, like these, these are incredible. Um, so I got that couple and they just kind of look like dopey old toys, but the Wolfman, he's looking awesome. And my personal favorite, just Count Dracula. He's uh, he's looking mighty dapper at that with that uh, that coat. Looks good. The mummy, probably my least favorite of of the Universal monsters, but still still awesome movies. If you can uh, catch a Hammer version of. Of the mummy, uh, you're in for a treat if you haven't seen that one. But um, lots of stuff here. What do we got? <sighs> looks like it looks. This looks like it goes over as a headpiece for the bat. Uh, it does. That's pretty cool. A little fun accessory. I'm not sure. Maybe this is for, probably for wherever you want, but I'm not sure if this is seaweed. I think it might be seaweed. I'm putting it on Frank for now. Oh, yeah. Some seaweed. That looks good. What else do we got? Oh, man. Oh. Cinder block so you can just, you know tie your monster to a cinder block it's pretty rough it's rough going let's see we got some bones probably for chewing or maybe those are the mummies um this looks like a wire of some sort so, keep that for later. Ooh, we got a scroll, probably to bring the mummy back to life. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this uh, This necklace. This ink-looking thing. I don't know if the heads come off. I don't want to pop them off. So. Okay, yeah. Just fits around the neck. Never to come off again. That looks great. Um, lots of lots of little accessories for the mummy. We got an urn of some sort or something for for offerings. Just got like Anubis and Ra and all this. What else do we got? This looks like more seaweed of some sort. And just a, just a well painted skull. Man, this makes me think I might be missing out on the uh, the monster one. Um, Doc Nocturnal. And I'm betting these are stands. Got a little, I don't know. They got a little web on them. So there's that. Uh, actually, here goes some actual stands. This is some clear stands. One. Probably one for each of the monsters. Yep, we got four stands. Maybe more. This looks like, looks like I got five stands. And... Oh, hi! What do we got, Scarlet? Scarlet's just showing up for a cameo. Is that you? Oh my gosh. We're just building building a Tower of Fear monster castle. You're building that? 
Yeah, I'm going to build it. Um, can I help? Oh, sure. Okay. Then, you need, you need your stool? Yeah, because, because I owe, um, did you remember, I always use my stool when, when we were about to open toys. Oh, yes. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. We got instructions, and we have some pieces of heavy-duty cardboard. Oh. oh, it looks like I left something in the box, though. What? What are you? Oh, looks like the amphibian skull. The creature oh, from the... Oh, I see. You want to see it? Yeah. yeah, it's got a skull. All right. Now... It looks like a wizard has a sword. It does? Yeah. Oh. We got 14 easy-peasy instructions, or 15 even, to uh, on how to... Put this together so we're gonna we're gonna take a break and do that and then i'll be right back okay after a, a bit of uh <laughs> finagling we finally assembled this thing and i i gotta say uh for the 15 instructions i'm not sure where some of this stuff goes like this little balcony piece kind of just hanging there i don't know if it's supposed to clip on underneath um and then we got some stairs that just kind of slot in, it said, wherever, on one of the base parts. Where do you want to put the stuff, Scar? Um, uh, uh, I don't know. Put it this, uh, Go ahead. right here. So we want to put the mummy's casket, and we can even stick the mummy inside if we want. So go ahead. What? Here's the mummy. He goes inside of here. And just like that. Then we can close, close you want to close the sarcophagus, and then go ahead and just set it on there somewhere. Right by the window on the top floor. Wait, no. Okay. Right here. Right over there. Looks good. All right. Then we got Frankenstein's, like, uh, bringing them to life. Honestly, I don't think, I think I'm missing a piece because I think this is the table, and there was supposed to be something that goes on top of it, but we don't have that. So... We can just go ahead, right next to the sarcophagus on the top floor, why not? Um, what about this one? Oh, that's uh, Dracula's casket. Yeah. Where's, where's Jurassica? Jurassica is right here. He's got, let's take his head off so he fits, which was a pretty neat little accessory. Hold on, let's see. Why are you taking his head off? Cause then now he'll, now he'll fit. Okay, and then yeah, he has another head. Inside yeah, head. he got another head inside the head, and then we'll go ahead and st where do you want to stick this? I don't want to like this one. Right, right on the second floor. Perfect. Then Actually, right in there. All right, let's take a look. So then. There are places, so we got that, and then on the other side, we have like what looks like some a balcony. Who do you want to go in the balcony, Scar? Huh? Over here. Who do you want to stick out there? Frankenstein. And then uh, two of them. Yeah. Does it fit too? Go ahead and take a look. Yeah, they fit too. All right. So then we got a couple of monsters hanging out. Oh. In the balcony and on in the sewer we can stick the creature from the black lagoon let's take a look pop this oh, oh oh see it's all falling apart because it's held together by a couple of plastic tabs and the columns but so here we go just like that oh and this piece, which somebody tell me how it connects. <laughs> because we were having a couple of problems. Regardless, um, is it pretty cool, Scott? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like it. Uh, this went on backwards somehow. We'll fix it. But, anyways, thanks for watching. Say like, subscribe, leave a comment. Down below. Down below. Yeah, that's true. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.